Good evening to you. I'm John Gray. And I'm Ann Hughes. First on Fox, it's being called an historic day for the military as the don't ask, don't tell policy is officially repealed. This 18-year-old legal ban lifted at midnight, allowing gays and lesbians to serve openly in the military now. Fox 23's Tori Wells live in Colony at a local law office. And uh, tell us about the change now, Tori. Well, the attorney we spoke with said that this is now the law. Of course, it will be followed. But those who found themselves separated from the military because of don't ask, don't tell might, may find that there are some gray areas that still have to be figured out. Your commitment to love each other has triumphed over politics and policies. At the stroke of midnight, Navy Gary Lieutenant Gary, Gary Ross and his 11-year partner Dan Sweezy were married. At the same time, don't ask, don't tell was repealed. Their relationship, like many others, was a well-guarded secret until now. I'm a United States Marine and I'm a lesbian. I look forward to resuming my career as an officer and a leader in the U.S. Air Force. Local attorney Greg Rinke has been hearing similar sentiments as people call asking how they can re-enlist. Some of them were separated with 15 years of service. They only need five more years and they can get a military retirement. The former Army JAG attorney says many who were separated under Don't Ask, Don't Tell received a general discharge, which before the repeal would have meant they couldn't re-enlist or receive certain benefits. Now they can potentially upgrade it to an honorable discharge and get their GI Bill benefits and other VA benefits. But he says it's still unclear how and when that will happen. Then there's the question of spouse benefits. Right now, because of the Federal Defense of Marriage Act, same-sex couples won't receive the same benefits as other military couples. There's still going to be questions as to whether or not they receive a housing allowance or they're going to be able to receive quarters together. People we spoke with in the Capital Region say the repeal itself is overdue. If someone wants to live their life, then let them live their life. I don't think your sexuality has any qualification in terms of uh, serving in the military. There are, of course, critics of this repeal. They argue that this change could hurt cohesion. Top defense officials say, though, that has been addressed through education and training of the troops. Now, Rinky also says because there are some unanswered questions right now, lawsuits could pop up in the future. We will have more on that coming up tonight at 11. For now, we are live in Colony. Tori Wells, Fox 23.